What's up guys, welcome to the Nicoletti Show. In today's video, we're getting strangers to approach girls and try to get their number. Bro, we wanna help them get a girl's like Instagram or number. That's the video we're doing today. How do we do this? Well, we're just gonna have to watch and find out. Guys, I was in Nashville not too long ago with my buddy Afraz and I did 500 approaches in five days. I really tried to level up my own game and try to get out of my comfort zone. And I think I did a decent job. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you on the other side. Join the school. Peace. We're in Nashville, Texas on a Saturday. It's going to be crazy today. Funny enough, a lot of the times we do interviews because it's just a good excuse to talk to really pretty girls. And a lot of guys, they'll comment on that and they'll be like, man, if I had a camera, I'll fucking get girls all day. Well, now's your chance. Because <laughs> all the guys be commenting, well, it's because you have a fucking camera. Yeah. That makes it easier. I'm like, we have to find a guy to approach. Those guys maybe would have approached. Those guys would have over there. Go, 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 go. Hey bros, funny enough, we're actually Let's looking to find some guys. We want to help them get a girl's like Instagram or number. That's the video we're doing today. Where are you guys from? Uh, in Google, Indiana. Indiana. From, yeah, Indiana. First you ask, where are you from? Easy, any, right? Any Easy. random girl. Any random girl that you think is cute. The second question is, what is dating like wherever she's from? She says Oregon. Where's what's dating like in Oregon? The answer is going to be really simple for her. She's like, oh, it's terrible. Guys suck. And from there, you'll be like, well, I'm not like that. What's your Instagram in the bag? In our YouTube video. How old are y'all? Okay, that's all good. Have a good one. That's okay. It's okay. We get told no like ten. We get told no hundreds of times a day. It is all part of the game. So. Conducting the interviews. Y'all go face the camera. Face the camera. Alrighty, guys. So right here, my new friends completely forgot about the uh, purpose of the video. I think they just they 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 felt the pressure of the situation. And they just forgot. That's okay. So I had to remind them. Hey guys, we're, we're trying to get the number. Columbia. Okay, this will be interesting. Do you, you remember the question? Yeah. Uh, relationship now. Yeah. What are, what are like relationship deep? Like, what's the details about it? Like, how does? Your will, right? Like, yeah, you guys yeah, got yeah, like yeah. a manual. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Two, two. Y'all should trade Instagrams. I think I think that would be a good move there. And then you don't have Snapchat. Or Snapchat. I know. Snapchat. I know. Snapchat. I know. WhatsApp. <laughs> Facebook, email, Instagram. We'll do Instagram. We'll see how the way to go. Stay back, boys. That's how we do it. Love to be in the video. I appreciate it. Shout out to Columbia. I want to go one day. Yeah, I definitely want to go. Are you sisters, by the way? Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Beautiful. You know what? I should go out there. While showing you this video, I'm also going to be telling you the main things I learned while doing this challenge. And this is the number one thing, guys. Exposure is everything. There's something in my school community that I call exposure therapy, but in approaching. So essentially we work you up to one small compliment, to asking for the number, to going on a date. Eventually you get really good at it. And what I learned is this was day five for me. I had been approaching for five days. I was almost at like 500 approaches. I had the camera and the light in my face for days. I was literally walking around the streets with a big massive camera and light on me and everyone starts looking and I would get so scared, I would get so much anxiety, but by day five, I didn't feel that anymore. So when I brought random guys on the street who haven't had any exposure to it yet, ultimately they would get very nervous. Not only are they approaching, props to them, but they're also approaching in, with a massive LED light and you guys can't see it. You're not in that environment, so you can't feel it, but there's tons of people. Everyone just starts looking. So you're getting like on the spot and you're expected to get a number on the spot. So it makes it a lot harder. But what I learned is like a lot of these guys were literally shaking, but the reason why is they just weren't exposed. Guaranteed, if they did this all day with me for a few days, they would be so smooth, guys. There's so many girls, but we have to talk to some girls, but we have to do it. Hi, how's it going? Good, how are you? Doing pretty well. We're doing like YouTube video stuff and interviews. Oh! Fun topics. Me too, I'm okay. Okay. Cool. 
Uh, it seems a bit rude. It doesn't feel legal. No, it's because we're, we're YouTubers. So it's okay. Well, all right. Hey, you got big balls for doing this because most people are too scared. Yeah, I'm Remember, terrified. I won't let my hair is Who right the now. fuck would have the balls to do that? 99% of guys can't do that. We're doing YouTube interviews. My friend's Irish. Come on. <laughs> Okay. Hey, we get rejected all the time. The more. feeling you're feeling right now is completely normal all the time. <laughs> Where is the contract? Yeah. Where were, there were so many earlier, there so and many now they're all gone. Hi. Hello. You smell good. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Oh, dang it. We took too long, bro. We took too long. <laughs> you're really nice, though. Thank I hope you, uh, we're going to find some more. Hope, hope goes we missed our fucking mark. What's that was our fault. Going? That's all good. You win some, you lose some. What's up? How's it going? Hey, the model walk, model walk. I have a quick, quick question. Epic. Hey, who's single here? Who wants to go talk to a girl? He might be down. He might be down. He might be doing here. Okay, so we're doing this challenge where we're having a guy walk up to a girl, ask him. Man, fuck that shit. Man, what's up? So we're having a guy walk up to a girl and interview her. I have to interview him or her. Simple question to put this on you. Oh, you're my dub, dub. You're my dub, bro. <laughs> All right, so they're just gonna ask where you ladies from. They're gonna be like, dating there is terrible. And you're gonna ask why. And then after that, just go for the Instagram. Just tell you're cute. Okay. All right, all right, here we go. Let's do it. What's up, ladies? <laughs> Wait, have we already talked to y'all? Yeah. So, no, I am. We're doing quick YouTube interview. He's gonna do the interview. You're getting married. Well, well that's well, who's single? Who's single? We gotta talk to someone single. Somebody single. Next group. Let's get next group. Next group. Next group. Next group. So right here, literally every single girl we talked to was married. So it just became a, like a ultimate fail. It was like married, 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 and I'm like, okay, wow. Great person, I'm married. So of course, we picked the group of married girls, but eventually, one of the girls was single. I'm single. What is dating like in Pittsburgh? Well, if you're great looking, can I at least get your Instagram? What? Can I get your Instagram? My Instagram? Yes, yes, yes. Sure, here we go, here we go. Guys, the second thing I learned is that flirting is all in the eye contact. It's literally all in the eye. Like, there were many moments where I'm talking to a girl and I'm asking her, like, stupid questions. What's dating like? What's this? What's that? Thank you for the interview. I appreciate it. What's up? Hey, you're kidding, Tom. Can you say again? Oh, you're cute too. Can I get your Instagram? Cool, here. And then at the end of the interaction, that happens where she's literally like, you're really cute. What's your name? It's just the way we're looking at each other. It's just the way the vibe is. It's, it's, it's so much of flirting is you just being comfortable in your own skin and thinking in your head, damn, you're really cute. Like you're just feeling it, you're thinking it. So when you're talking to her, you're talking to her like, hey, what's up? What's your name? Like, you're really beautiful. I, I just had to say hi. Like, I don't know. Like, maybe you're not saying that, but like, hey, what's so what's dating like in Pittsburgh? <laughs> you know, whatever the fuck you're saying. Uh, I'm trying to flirt with you guys now. Hey, great to meet you guys. Bye, ladies. Great to meet you guys as well. Cheers. Dude, that girl's really, that girl's really into you. Man, I was like shitting really, myself there. Really I'm real. That was a lot of pressure. Yeah, she I was almost staring. failed. She was staring. Oh my god. Telling that, should I stay and talk? Should we stay and talk to those girls off camera? Oh shit, I forgot I even I forgot about you guys. Wait a minute. I was uh, I was mesmerized by that one girl talking to me. Uh, let's go back to the one of all of them. Let's go back to the homie. Let's go back to the homie. That was good. So where is it Half of them were married. Yeah, that was putting it. Yeah, yeah, I was like, you're married. Fuck. You're married. What do you uh, think? We'll take you. Yeah. Hey, y'all should party with those girls. They were cool. Right? They were fun. They, they were, were cool, fun. yeah. And yeah. got the Instagram. Cool. Shout out to that guy. Cool we got two in the bag there. Woo! I was really nervous there, I'm not gonna lie. Like when every single one of those girls were saying they're not single. Not single, not single, not single. I'm like, oh god, I hope this doesn't go up in flames. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, say what's up. We'll help out. We'll do an interview. Let's go. Alright, let's do it. Good question. I've been to it. Alright, the question. We're cool, we're cool, we're cool. If you keep a really clean bathroom, that goes a long way. That's That's all I gotta do is have a clean bathroom and I got me a wife. Yeah. Well, I mean, I mean, I mean, but but at the end of the day, that means you're 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 like. Prepare to get down and dirty and hey, scrub around. Hey, hey, I mean, hey, hey, hey. hey. This is my new girlfriend. <laughs> no, I'm not. Hey, she's engaged. Number three, 
I guess this is something I learned. The camera and having a group helps with starting the interaction. A lot of the times after the interaction, um, you know, when the camera's off, we're all still talking. What I learned is when you're with a big group of people and you walk up with a big LED light and camera and you're walking up to a big other big group, it's a lot easier to get them to stop and have this group interaction. You know, everyone feels safe in the herd. So when the herd comes and you have everything, it's a lot safer. So if you're able to walk up to people and you can get all of your friends to be approaching together, I think that's one of the best ways to do it. Communication. <laughs> so we're just trying to find one more guy. So we're doing this challenge. We're like to talk to girls to try to get an Instagram right phone here. number. mission accomplished on that one. I think we got these boys some Instagrams and we're gonna help them wingman. Number four guys, bros will appreciate you. We actually ended up running into those same guys that we helped out the next day and they were, they were like so thankful to us because I think we really got them out of their comfort zones and we got their night started. A lot of bros are just hanging around and they're too scared to talk to a girl. If you can be a guy, if you can be that guy who brings the girls over, to their environment and helps them out and brings all the girls to them, they're gonna appreciate you a lot and it's it's a very um, valued skill, you could say. Those girls were literally wearing like nothing and panties. Like literally see-through outfits and panties and those guys literally <laughs> just struck gold because we wing them. That's yeah, crazy. that's wild. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed today's video and that is pretty much it. This was a fun one and I will see you in the next one. Join the school. Peace.